Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna be going over the all new AEV Silverado ZR2 Bison. Before we get in this video, I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller Chevy here in Murray, Utah for giving me some time with this truck. I'm going to include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. If you need any help, just ask for Nick and Gage. And then on a side note, if you wanna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Powering this truck is a naturally aspirated 6.2 liter V8 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 14 around town and then 17 on the highway with power outputs, being 420 horsepower and then 460 pound feet of torque. Now, before we go over the front end, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So, just like other ZR2s, we've got the hood bulge here in the center with our 6.2L badge. Now taking a look at the lights here, you guys can see the daytime running light with the headlight and then we get a little LED light there in the grill and then of course our ZR2 badge, the Chevy flow tie here in the center. Notice the grill is all blacked out and then we've got fog light action down below. Now this is the big thing is the upgraded bumper so look at the recovery points, super super beefy and then you guys can see there with the protection underneath you do have added skid plates with this bison package and just like a really aggressive like front end overall. But yeah, putting it all together, let me know what you guys think about the front end design with this new bumper. Do you like it more or less than the regular ZR2? Now, coming around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 275, 70, 18 in the front and over in the rear as well. And then just look at the wheel design overall. I think the wheels actually look really cool with this package. Now, unlike the AT4X, this doesn't need to have bigger tires added to it because the ZR2 already had 33s from the start, but it would be cool to see this truck with 35s. Now you guys can see we've got independent front suspension here and what you can't really see is the shocks, but you do have the multi-mag shocks. Now here are the fender flares, I think those look pretty sweet. And then you got ZR2 here on the side and then look at the mirror cap there. And then you can see the door handles are also body painted. And by the way, this isn't black, you guys can see it's like a metallic, kind of like bluish gray. And then you got the rock rail protection here on the side as well. Got a little bison decal here on the side, which is pretty cool. And then you guys can see we still have leaf springs here in the rear and then a solid rear axle. And then here's your full side view with the ZR2 bison. The ZR2 already has like just a really cool stance and the bison package will just add some more off-road capability to that. Now here's our key fob, we have our unlock function, our lock function, remote start, the drop down for the tailgate, and then we got the Chevy bow tie here on the back as well, and well, press that a couple times. Now popping into the bed area here with the ZR2, you guys can see it actually says ZR2 there at the end, which is pretty cool. But everything's already protected from the factory, which is sweet, got some LED bed light action, and then we have a full outlet here in the bed as well. And then this one actually has the multi-pro setup, multi-flex, whatever Chevy calls it, it's all the same. But you guys can see it turns into a whole step system. Weight limit is like 375 pounds with it, if you're wondering. Now getting this up is pretty easy. Fold that into place, make sure it makes locking sound, and then just lift this all up in one motion, and then boom. Got Chevy's taillights here, and then you guys can see the AEV badge on the back. And then notice with the Silverado bow tie. And then you guys can see that this actually has some vinyl on it, which looks pretty cool because it's matte black. And then Silverado badge. And then of course we got this bumper. Again, look at the recovery points here. Really, really chunky. Parking sensors are still built into the bumper, but it just looks so aggressive. It actually improves approaching, it looks like, a little bit. And you guys can see the exhaust tips poking out the bottom. Now, this isn't the best angle, but you guys can kind of see the Multimatic shocks a little bit better. And then we do have a full-size spare. But regardless of all of that, let me know what you guys think about the design on this ZR2 Bison. Do you like it more or less than the regular ZR2? Now take a look at the door panel here in the rear. They haven't changed anything with the panel itself, which they didn't need to. The design's really cool with the ZR2. I love the neon stitching. It's just a, it's a cool thing. And then same thing with the seats. You can see again with the neon stitching and then we still have the behind the seat storage and the easy clean design. That's why these seats are the color they are and why they have the patterns that they do. And then you guys can see the under seat storage and then we get the flat loading floor. Now the legroom back here is really solid. We got a little storage pocket and then you can see cup holder action. And then we do have our vents down below with the heated seat controls. We also have some USB action. And of course we got a cup holder armrest. And then last but not least, headroom's good. Now taking a look at the front door panel here, you guys can see again with the material use, it's really cool with the design that they've done here. And then again with the neon stitching down below. 
All of our window controls here, uh, Frontier Automatic, got your mirror adjustments, the mirrors do power fold in, memory seat function, speaker for the Bose sound system, and blind spot monitoring too. Oh, of course, we got AEV in the headrest here up front, which is pretty sweet. And then look at the design all down the center portion. Power adjustments here on the side. And for those of you wondering, payload capacity with this truck is 1,048 pounds. ZR2 right there. And then you can see the whole pedal layout with the hood release. Got our light controls here with the drive mode select, tow haul mode, drive line select. Notice we have four wheel auto as well as four wheel high and four wheel low. Heads up display controls. And then your steering wheel adjustment, which is power. And let's look at the towing on this actually. 8,800 pounds. Now here's a quick look at the steering wheel, soft touch all around. We do have the radio controls there on the back with the paddle shifters for the 10 speed automatic controls with the center stacker right here on the front. You got your heat steering wheel button on the steering wheel. We also have our cruise control function built in as well. I like how the Chevy bow tie is blacked out. And then of course you got a regular turn signal which is wiper stock. So here's our center gauge cluster, full digital gauge cluster here with the ZR2. We can scroll through menus here in the center to see different bits of info. And then we still have our normal drive mode. So we got a tow haul mode we can pop it into. And we also have our off-road mode and our terrain mode as well. Off-road modes for like high-speed off-roading. Uh, terrain mode is for your like low-speed crawling. Now in reverse, we do have a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. We got the bird's eye view as well because this has the full suite of 360 camera awesomeness that you guys know I'm a huge fan of. Now as for the Resi infotainment system, I've gone over this many, many times, but you got a shortcut bar there on the side. You got the main screen, which responds really well. It does have um, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, and then you got the little side tab here that you can also scroll through. Of course, you got a physical button here for the radio. Lane departure, you guys can see we've got our parking sensors, auto stop, start, tailgate, drop down, stability control, hill descent control, and then front and rear lockers. That's a big part of the ZR2 is that you have front and rear lockers that you um, actually activate and then we've got a trailer brake controls right here and then climate control setup. So dual zone climate, heated and ventilated seats with this truck as well. Got our shifter here for that 10 speed automatic. Got some cup holder action, some more storage up front. And look at the center console here. I think this is pretty cool with the center design. And then you have a wireless phone charging pad as well. Some USB action, another little outlet. Uh, good storage overall. And then with the glove box, we got double glove box up. And look at this trim here on the front. I think that's really cool. And then also on the glove box as well. It all looks really nice. And same thing on the dash with all of the neon stitching. Kind of feels special. And then up top, we do have the rear view camera mirror with this truck as well. And then you can see we've got a sunroof and then we also have a power sliding rear window. So it's quite a bit glare, so it's kind of hard to see the window sticker. But anyways, you guys can see ZR2. It doesn't say that this is a Bison Edition or anything on that part of the window sticker because it's actually an optional package. Um, but most everything went over is standard equipment. Base MSRP is 71,500. The ZR2 Bison Edition, $7,895. It adds the bumpers, some skid plates. It also adds the wheels. And then I guess AEV branded floor liners as well. Um, rock part, so that was the rock really talked about. Um, so yeah, all that for $7,800. This has a couple more packages as well. Triple MSRP, $84,650 on this Silverado ZR2. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. You guys can see visibility of the hood, both the mirrors, throughout the rest of the rear. And well, this is gonna be an interesting test drive because we're just taking this back to its parking space. Um, this particular truck happens to be pre-sold, so we're not gonna be taking it on the road or anything, just doing a little walk around on the truck. But I did want to uh, take our driving back to the parking space uh, time to quickly talk about what I think about this AEV package on the ZR2. So first off, I think it looks great. I, I love the aesthetics on the outside. Now, I don't feel like the ZR2 benefited as much as the uh, GMC Sierra AT4X because the AT4X, frankly, just looked like a regular GMC Sierra, right? And so having the AEV stuff added to it like really gave it like a souped up look. Whereas this, right, the ZR2 already had like a cool souped up look as standard. And so it, again, it looks really cool, but I don't feel like it benefits as much as, uh, again, what you saw with the AT4X. Um, with that being said though, you know, if you actually are gonna take one of these trucks off road, it's definitely worth getting the stuff. Um, the bumper, like th the body painted sections on the regular ZR2, right? That's, 
it looks cool, but that's not gonna be fun when you hit into a rock with that. So like having these bumpers, having extra skid plates, like super practical stuff for off-roading. So from an off-road perspective, like it definitely helps things out quite a bit. Um, but what I will say is I wish that, I wish they would have done 35s of this package. Um, I'm sure that there's gonna be, I'm sure that AEV is gonna come out with 35s, a 35 package with the ZR2 and with the AT4X. Um, I just wish that that just would have been this this package, right? I think that just like right out of the gate, just 35s. Um, and, you know, I mean, this is a truck that's already, you know, there's not going to be that many of them and they're already going to sell. So, like, it's not a sales thing. But I just think that it would just kind of make the package a little bit uh, cooler, in my opinion. And I know I'm going to get a bunch of comments of people saying they should supercharge this, which uh, <laughs> that'd be cool. But the thing that I'm really excited for is apparently they're going to throw the diesel in the ZR2 next year for 24. And so, like... Think about this for a second. ZR2, diesel, AEV, 35s. That's the truck. I think that that's, that's a super special truck. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about this Bison package. Do you think it's worth it or not?